is Kosha. Man, I am on a roll here. This is going to be my third video that I have recorded today. And I know this is going to be a long one, y'all. I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as possible because I know don't nobody really like to sit through long videos anymore. Well, I do, but it seems like, you know, the majority doesn't. Um, but yeah, so today we had an empties that I am about to get into. I keep looking at it because it's a lot. I have, I'm a little behind on my empties, okay? I wanted to get, start doing them on a monthly basis because I, things just kind of pile up and <clears throat> the video gets a little longer than, you know, I want it to, but yeah. <sighs> Yeah, go grab a snack. <laughs> I'm warning you now. Go grab a snack. Make sure you got you some water, okay? So you can stay hydrated because we finna talk about some stuff. Um, like I said, this is about two months worth of stuff. This is um, August, September. Yeah, August and September pretty much. And I decluttered some stuff. And I just put everything in here, so... Let's check. So, as usual, I always start off with my hand soaps from Bath and Body Works. Um, I did not realize we've gone through so many hand soaps. Um, I, I'm a stay-at-home mom, just in case y'all didn't know. And I homeschool and all that. So, yeah, we are home, you know, majority of the day, um, you know, while we're getting our education on and everything. So, I do go through a lot of hand soaps. <laughs> Because we wash our hands, okay? We wash our hands. When we go to the bathroom, before we eat, everything, many kids, uh, our family washes our hands. So, disclaimer. So, don't be sitting up here judging me while I'm showing y'all all these soaps and y'all like, damn, she go through a lot. I do. I do. <laughs> okay, let's just get to it. <laughs> First up, Cactus Blossom. This has notes of cactus flower petals, sun-kissed coconut, and sparkling lemon. Y'all, I love this hand soap. It was bomb. It smells just like the body care. So, yes, I had to get it. It's, it's nice. I love it. Yes, I would definitely repurchase it. Next is White, white Oak and Vanilla. This is a soap that I picked up during SAS. Um, this has notes of sweet vanilla cream, white oak, and warm amber. This was really nice. I really, really love this scent. You definitely smell the vanilla, and it just smells woodsy, like you get that oak scent. It smells so freaking good. It is unisex, though, but I love a good unisex scent, okay? Um, if they brought this out in body care, I don't care if they market it for men, I will buy it because I will want to wear it because it smells so good. <laughs> so, yeah, this was good. I do hope to see it again next time they have a soap sale. I would definitely be looking for it. Um, next up, I use a sweater weather. This has sage, eucalyptus, and fresh woods for the notes. Um, I didn't love this one. Not at all. And now that I'm looking at it, this has different notes than, than um, the body care. So weird. Um, yeah, I don't like, I, did, I didn't care for this one. So, no, I would not get sweater weather in the soap again. I'm good on it. And then I have sweet cinnamon and pumpkin. This has notes of harvest pumpkin, spiced clove, and sugar cane. Yes, this just really got me in the mood for fall, especially in the morning, you know, when I'm coming in the kitchen to make my coffee and I wash my hands first, you know. So, smelling this just kind of, I don't know. It just put me in the mindset of fall. Loved it. And it's, it's just coziness, you know? Sugar Maple Lane. This has notes of maple drizzle, warm citrus sunshine, and brown sugar. Um, I didn't enjoy this one. Not at all. Um, it smelled... It's, it's, the smell was okay. I didn't enjoy the maple in it. I just didn't. And it was kind of outdoorsy. It was like an outdoorsy scent, but like with some sweet maple in it. It was weird to me. To me, it just kind of smelled a little weird. Not my vibe. I would not repurchase this scent. Um, sunshine and lemons. 
This is um, a hand soap I had in the kitchen during August. I loved it. Um, this has notes of yuzu, grapefruit, and sun rays. I would definitely repurchase this one. Um, I love the smell of... <clears throat> I just love that smell of grapefruit in the kitchen. I love this one. Yeah, this was this was bomb. I... If, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what else to say, girl. This one is bomb. The grapefruit was bomb. It was perfect for the kitchen. Uh, what else? Okay, pomegranate and blackberry. Um, this has notes of autumn pomegranate, sugar, blackberry, and vanilla spice. I did not like this scent. It smelled like Robitussin, like cough syrup. I wasn't feeling it. I would not repurchase this. I really thought I was going to love it because I normally like pomegranate scents. But I don't know. The mixture of pomegranate and blackberry together. Girl, it was giving cough syrup. We don't want that. <laughs> All right. Mahogany apple. This has notes of red mahogany woods, golden delicious apple, and pink peppercorn. Um... I don't even really remember what this smell like. Hold on. Mm. It smells good, but it ain't my vibe. It's, I don't know. It, I don't know. That smell too festive for me, like Christmas festive with that apple. And it's kind of, what is that? Like that spice, uh, the peppercorn. Yeah, girl, no. I don't want that. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. All right. Cozy Vanilla Almond. I love this one, okay? Um, this one has notes of vanilla orchid, sugared almond, and sweet musk. This one was nice. Let me smell it again to refresh my memory. I just remember loving it. Yeah. Girl, yes. I would definitely get this one again. I love this. You can smell the sugar. It's so sweet. You smell the almond, but that vanilla. It's like a sh all of that. The sugary vanilla almond, girl. This was bomb. It, they need to come out with this in body care, okay? I will wear it. I'm telling you. <laughs> it was good. All right. Sunrise Woods. This has nuts of creamy sandalwood, sweet berries, and cozy, cozy cashmere. This was cool. It wasn't out it. I think the body care smells better than the soap. Uh, it smells like the body care, but soapy. Mm, yeah. White coconut caramel. This has notes of coconut flakes, toasted hazelnut, and caramel swirl. I would not buy this one again. This smells like some caramel popcorn. Like, it smelled like buttery popcorn with a little hint of caramel. I wasn't feeling it. I definitely don't want to be, I didn't want to smell this washing my hands. Like, I could not wait for this to be gone. Okay, sweet whiskey. This is bae, okay. <laughs> uh, this has lots of golden amber, vanilla infused whiskey, and red sweet berries. This is bomb. I would definitely buy it again. Love the body care. Okay, Halloween. Wicked Vanilla Woods. Love Wicked Vanilla Woods, y'all. I wish I had brought it back in body care. But yeah, this has notes of magical vanilla, glowing amberwood, and enchanted pink pepper. Using this soap made me want to pull out my Wicked Vanilla Woods. So yeah, love it. Okay, Moonlit Graveyard. This had notes of... This has notes of tombstone moss, cold, foggy air, and eerie incense. I didn't like this one. It has so much potential to be good, but the incense was not done right at all. It wasn't done right. It smelled off. It was off-putting. I would not buy this again. Bath and Body Works needs to work on, um, I don't know. If that's how they do incense, boo, I'm going to stay away from it because I didn't like it. And I love the scent of incense, okay? I love to burn them. They smell, it just smells really good, but this was not it. It was not it. Okay, and then last, I have Girlfriend. This has notes of dark strawberries, ghostly peony, and spine-chilling citrus. This was bomb. 
I like this. The kids like this. It smelled really good. Yeah, I would definitely get this again. Okay, that is it for hand soaps. So, I guess now I'll move on to shower products. All right, let's get bar soaps out the way real quick. So, what I always use, Dove Sensitive Skin, love it. Um, I love this one because it's unscented. Well, the bar soap is unscented, and I like that for my downstairs area. Um, we'll continue to repurchase that. I did use the original bar as well. Love the original bar. It's bomb. Would definitely repurchase. Um, I also use a gentle exfoliating one. I really enjoy this and it is very gentle. It is not drying. It's not harsh. Um, and I do love the smell of this. It's very fresh. You know, a typical bar soap smell. And then I did use the Dove Shea Butter. I've recently been using this one because, you know, it's fall and I'm pulling out my warmer scents. And I just love this scent. I would continue to buy that one. And this is uh, the Olay Shea Butter Bar Soap as well. Love it. I have not used the Olay Bar Soap in a while. It's been a little over, it's been a little over a year since I've uh, use the Olay bar soap so this was just a nice um you know roll back around to some things that I love I I really enjoy it I'm enjoying it now in the shower um now Olay bar soaps they aren't as moisturizing as Dove but I still love them they are still very gentle they don't dry me out so that is a plus all right moving on to some shower gels okay so my husband used up aloe and palm um i just really love smelling these in the shower when he would get out of the shower and i walk in a bathroom you know you know when somebody in the shower and they come on at the bathroom they dress and everything but you can still smell the products that they shower with yes y'all this smells so good and same with bamboo and surf i really love this one on him as well yeah, um, if they brought these back next summer, I would definitely grab him more. Love them. Love it. Okay. And then the only shower gel that I have in here, well, yeah, body wash. It's from Dove. This is the Renewing Penny and Rose Oil. Yeah, that's the fragrance. This smells really, it smells good. It's super, super floral. Um... Yeah, it's super floral. Um, and I was using this during the later part of spring, early summer. I had to stop using it because it kept making me, it kept, I don't know what it is, something in here I'm sensitive to. It was just making me have um, eczema flare-ups. And at first when it happened, I didn't realize that it was this soap doing it because I had kind of uh, brought new things into the shower. So I was thinking it was something else. So um, I did the process of elimination. I took everything new out and, you know, I started slowly adding things back in. Like, okay, let me try this for a week or two and see what it does. Okay, it wasn't that. You know, so I got her back around to this body wash and, you know, I started using this again. And lo and behold, here we go. I'm having another eczema flare up. So I just decided to just go ahead and part ways with this. Um, I think it's a little too, I would have given it to my daughter. She didn't seem to have sense of skin, but it's just a little too grown smelling. <laughs> it's super floral, you know. So I didn't, I don't want to put that on her. But yeah. It is what it is. That's what happens, you know, when you try new products. You know, even though Dove is a brand that I usually don't have any issues with, but for some reason, something in here just caused my skin to just go haywire. So, all right, moving on. Okay, and so as far as moisturizers go, so my husband did finish a body cream in the Bamboo and Surf as well, and he loved it. Um, and he also finished a sweet whiskey. Um, this has notes of crisp apple. I mean, not sweet whiskey. Whiskey reserve, girl. <laughs> so this has notes of crisp apple, single malt whiskey, and white oak. He loved how this smelled on him. Well, mostly I loved how this smelled on him. So, yeah, he gonna get it again. <laughs> 
All right, and then I'm Old Faithful. I always show it. My Jergens Shea Butter Body uh, Lotion. Love using this. The whole family loves it. Now, this is from my Summer Project Use It Up. The Cocoa Pine Apple Body Butter. Um, I like this scent. It does smell good. And I have not finished it. I got like halfway through it. Still smells fine. It still smells really good. But something in this, I don't know if it's the... I don't know. It's This as well was doing something weird on my skin. It just did not feel good on my skin anymore. Um, I'm not sure if it's just gotten old. Um, I bought this last summer. So it's I've had it a year. And on the back it says that the open shelf life is 12 months. So I'm like, okay, so it's about that time, you know, where I guess it will be expiring. So I don't know if that's the issue or if it's just the vitamin C in it. Yeah, something in it. It just makes my skin, it burns my skin. Like it makes my skin feel hot. Like it's burning. <laughs> like, I don't like it. And you know what? That's the same thing that happened with me with the um the new Coco Shea line from Bath and Body Works. Their body butter gave me the same reaction. It just does not feel good on my skin. So yeah, I decided it's just time to part ways with it. I'm okay decluttering it. I mean, I used half the jar. It is what it is. Um, I just know now, you know, with, with their body butters, I'm not even sure. I don't think it's, I really don't think it's the body butter formula. I think it just may be the ingredient in it, like maybe the vitamin C. That's really what I'm thinking. I'm hoping that I'm right because if not, if it is just because it's been a year, I know I need to just um, make sure I use up the new body butter that I picked up this summer, the honey one. I need to make sure I use it. Well, I haven't opened that one yet. I'm good. I haven't opened that one yet. Yay. <laughs> okay, never mind. But yeah, I just have to keep in mind that um, from the time that you open these, you know, the, well, the from the time that I open it, I want to try to go ahead and get it used up within that year. Because yeah, I just don't want to have to declutter. I like to use my stuff up, not declutter it. Keeping with hygiene. So now I'm going to show you something that I discovered um, recently, you know, in the oral health care department. So that is the smart mouth, um, mouthwash. You guys, I freaking loved this. Um, this has the fresh mint, uh, flavor, but yes, it says that it's zinc, it's a zinc activated breath rinse. Um, and it's bad breath, uh, prevention for 24 hours, all day confidence, no morning breath and all of that good stuff, right? Um, I do think this works really, really well. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> my husband rinsed his mouth with this one time and then <laughs> he kept talking in my face, y'all. I swear I, I did about 10 blanks. Like, <laughs> you know when you somebody's breath is like super, super minty fresh and it's just like, it, it feel like somebody just blew peppermint all in your face. <laughs> That's what this was giving, like, so it worked, boo, it's strong. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just liked it. I like the flavor of it. Um, I don't think it tastes bad. If you make sure you are pouring it, make sure it's coming out of both. Yeah, this, this is my pet peeve with this bottle now. It's a two formula. So, one is green, one side of it is green, and then the other one is clear. You have to make sure that both is pouring into this cup, right? So, what I found was best, the best way to get both sides to pour, okay, you have to, I just kind of held the cup and I put it right on here and poured it. Otherwise, if you don't, girl, you're going to be like, you ain't even going to realize you're a little tilted. Like, any little tilt, girl, it's only going to pour out on one side and you're going to be irritated. You're going to be pouring it out, you know, which is wasting your product, so... That is the only thing that I don't like about this. It's a pet peeve. I really wish they would just make it one, one formula, okay? Just one, boo. So just pour it and do what you got to do, but no. Oh, yeah, and right now at the moment, y'all, I think I like this better than my TheraBreath. And, you know, I just love the TheraBreath um, mouthwash. But right now, this has become my favorite. 
Um, this is the original version. Currently, I'm using the clinical one. I just wanted to try it and see if it was um, if there was any difference, or you know, if I like the flavor of that one better because I I can't remember what the flavor says on that one, but yeah, it it, it I don't see no difference. Okay, it tastes the the flavor is the exact same, and the formula looks the exact same. Like, I think it's just the exact same damn thing and they just slapped a different label on it. Like, honestly, just save your money, okay? Save your $2 and get the original, okay? <laughs> Next is hair care. So I finished up this Eco Styler Gel, um, the olive oil one. Um, I do enjoy this gel. I always buy it. I will continue to repurchase it. I like to use that gel um, for, I, sometimes I do wash and goes with it when I'm in the mood, but uh, mostly I just slick my hair back into a little ponytail or something with it. Okay, so next is skincare. I, uh, me and my husband went through these um, moisturizers from Innisfree. Um, it's the Green Tea Hyaluronic Acid Cream. We went through both of these. Um, I really, really love these. Um, well, I really, really love this moisturizer. It is very moisturizing. I love the scent of it. It smells like spa. Yeah, I'm sure y'all heard me talk about this before, but yeah, it smells like a spa. Um, and it just works. It does the job. It is a Korean brand. You can either order directly from their website if you want to. Um, I've done that several times and um, before they started carrying it in Sephora, that's what I used to do. But now they carry these in Sephora. They don't carry their entire line. Um, Industry has all types of products, um, but I've only, they only have like a handful of them in Sephora. So yeah, I just picked these up in Sephora just to get my points, <laughs> just to build up my points, but yeah. Um, love it. Oh, and the price isn't too bad either. It's, it's not as steep as most um, skincare products in Sephora. It's only $29 for that, so. You know, you're looking for something. If you usually buy like something like really, really high end, expensive stuff, and you're looking for something that's a little more budget friendly, you know, but you don't want to go drugstore budget friendly, I think this is a good way to go. I love it. Okay, next up is this Innisfree Refining Gommage Mask with Green Barley. Um, I do enjoy this mask. But I've had it a while. Um, I pretty much let this expire. It said, yeah, it expired this, uh, last month, actually. But yeah, it was cool. Nothing special, nothing mind-blowing. It's just a little exfoliating mask. They, you know, it worked. Um, same thing here. Innisfree Pore Clearing Color Mask with Volcanic Clusters. This was for brightening. I got this for those reasons. I really wanted to give it a try. Um, again, this was okay. It wasn't anything mind-blowing. Um, not mind-blowing, but I mean, it was okay. It was cool. And uh, yeah, same thing. This expired on me, so I'm decluttering it. And the Ordinary Niacinamide. What is this? 10% and zinc 1%. Um, this is like a little serum I will put on before my moisturizer. It says apply to entire face, morning and evening, uh, before heavier creams. So niacinamide is really good, you know, if you have oily skin or pores, uh, large pores. Like this is uh, really good for those reasons. Um, I did get it. I normally just put this in the areas where I do get oily. That's what I was using it for. But I just don't love it. I don't love this ingredient. I don't love this serum. It makes my face really tight and dry, which I mean, I guess is the point, right? But I just don't love products that make my skin feel tight. Um, I prefer moisturizing products. So I just decided to just part ways with it. I, as you can see, I've used dang, dang near all of it. Like it's, it's almost gone. It's like down here, but I've, I've just been holding on to it and I'm just not going to force myself to use things that I'm not loving. So it has to go. Okay, and then lastly is Lip Care Girl Carmex. <laughs> this is the strawberry one. 
I love Carmex. I've been using this since I was a teenager. Well, since I was a kid, really. Girl, yes, you can't go wrong with Carmex. Um, I do like wearing my lip mask at night. I have a Laneige lip mask that I've been trying to finish up for forever. It seems like it lasts forever. <laughs> But yeah, sometimes I don't feel like digging in a jar. So I'll just grab this and just, you know, put it on real quick. But yeah, I, this is what I use um, as a lip balm in the morning time after I brush my teeth and everything. That's just part of my routine. I put, you know, lip balm on and go on about my day. All right, last category is makeup. Woo! All right, so I finished up a voluminous lash paradise mascara from l'oreal that is what it looks like and it yes it is rubbing off that is one thing i cannot stand about this mascara packaging like after a while all this starts rubbing off and it rubs off on your fingers and everything especially when i'm doing my makeup i don't want to touch excellent you know not be thinking about it and touch my face and this crap is on there which i mean that's never happened to me because i'm always washing my hands but <laughs> You know, like one day, you know, what if you, what if I was rushing or, you know, the kids came there and said something to me or whatever and I forget, you know, just. But anyway, girl, that's besides the point. I don't like that the packaging rubs off like that. That is not cute. And for those reasons, I will not be repurchasing this um, mascara. I just don't like that, okay? <laughs> um. Anyway, but I mean, other than the packaging, peeling you know as time goes on i do love the formula i did really enjoy the formula of this mascara i thought it was really good that was actually my second tube of it so yeah uh but you know there are plenty of other mascaras out on the market so i will find one that i love just as much hopefully one that i love more um and then last but not least this is the juvia's place um Juvia's Place Concealer. This is in the shade 14. Anyway, girl, it took me forever to get through this tube, okay? This big, big tube. <laughs> but I do love this concealer. So much so, you know, I have another, I have a lighter shade that um, I picked up a while ago, and it's too light. So I got... Um, I got one that's my skin tone now so that I can just, you know, kind of, I put the skin tone one right up under my eye and the lighter one like underneath that just to brighten things up. Formula wise, this is creamy. It's, um, it's very hydrating under the eye. Um, I do prefer something that is, you know, not like if I'm in a rush to leave, I do prefer something that's not as creamy as this. So I never use this one if I'm in a rush because I like to let this one dry down a little bit before I go in and blend it out um, because it is so creamy. But, and I want, you know, the fuller coverage, you know, so that works for me. But yeah, other than that, I love this formula, love this concealer. I have already repurchased. Um, I think it looks really good underneath my eyes. If you're looking for a good affordable concealer, I do recommend this, especially if you have fine lines or, you know, if you're just drier, if you have dry skin under your eyes like I do, I do recommend this one because it is creamy and it will look good, okay? It will look good under your eye. Um, how much did I pay for this? I think these are like 12 to $14, somewhere around that price range so very affordable oh and you can find juvia's place at ulta okay i'm trying to get better about telling you guys where to find certain products um so yeah you can definitely find that at ulta um everything else besides the bath and body work stuff you can find at um at the, any drugstore okay Okay, and then last but not least, um, these are the body care items from Victoria's Seeker and um, and Bath and Body Works that I finished um, over the summer. I do I don't remember if I showed I think I showed you guys Pure Wonder in the last Inkies video. Um, I think I showed you guys the Mist. I'm not sure, but anyway, I do love Pure Wonder, and I'm glad to see that it has come back because I definitely plan on purchasing it. Oh, 
Oh, I did. Oh, girl, I already purchased it. I need to go pick it up. <laughs> Why well, I forget that quick? I didn't already purchase Pure Wonder, y'all. So I need to go pick it up. I did a bogus order. But anyway, uh, so I did finish the moisturizing body wash. Oh, I did go over all this stuff that I finished in my um, my summer project, Use It Up finale. But just in case you didn't check that video out, I'll show it again um, now. So this is the Pure Wonder Moisturizing Body Wash. I finished it, loved it. It was cool. I would definitely repurchase this scent. Um, I finished a whole set of Fresh Jungle Rain. This was a really, really nice fresh scent to use in the shower. Um, yeah, I loved it in the shower gel. Very spa-like, like a tropical getaway. Loved it. I would definitely purchase this again if they brought it back, but I doubt that's going to happen. Same with berry waffle cone. This has notes of sweet summer berries, golden waffle cone, and creamy vanilla. It's exactly what this uh, smells like. Some people say it smells like cereal to them. Um, I love this scent, and if they brought it back, I would definitely buy it, okay? <laughs> Why Kiki Beach Coconut? I had a mini in this. Yeah, I finished it. I loved it. Um... I really wish I had got the full size in this scent because I loved it that much. So yeah, next summer, if they bring it back, which I'm sure they will because I usually bring this one back every year, I do plan on getting it. All right, and then Falling Water is a scent from Victoria's Secret. I love it. It's fresh and aquatic. I love this scent. You definitely smell the pear in it. Unfortunately, I know I can't get it again because it's discontinued, but I definitely loved it. And Cocoa Vanilla from Victoria's Secret Pink. This is a body lotion I love. Smells like um, vanilla extract. Uh, reminds me very much of how cake batter smells. Yes, reminds me very much of how cake batter smells once you put that vanilla extract in it. Love it. I definitely plan on purchasing this again. Um, I know it is still available. I think the name has just changed to Vanilla from what I hear. So yeah, we'll definitely get that again. Okay, so that is it for my empty shot. I got through it. <laughs> Oh, man. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't too long. I hope you enjoyed them snacks that you grabbed, okay? <laughs> Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you have not already, y'all. And I hope to see you guys the next time. Um, until then, stay safe. And yeah, let's have a happy, wonderful fall. I know a lot of nice things are happening right now. There's been um, what state fairs going on. I know... Um, there's going to be a fall festival going on where I live soon. So I'm just looking forward to all the festivities and, you know, having a little fun. And just stay safe out there, you guys. And thank you so much for watching. See you later. Bye.